Good morning, everybody. Thank you for all being here today. It's great to see a, a nice crowd out for this uh, great day in Wisconsin. Uh, I'm Senator Devin Lemieux, the Senate Majority Leader. I'm excited about today. We're here today because over the years we've seen a slow but steady erosion of some of our state's greatest outdoor traditions. My name is Ted Nugent, I'm about to celebrate my 73rd deer hunting season. I was born in 1948 when everybody knew the self-evident truth that wildlife is a precious renewable gift that should be managed with respect in the asset column through utility and family hours of recreation generating value through revenues in participatory activities. Hunting is essential and any regulation that doesn't deal with safety or science-based wildlife management is an obstacle to participation. The wildlife management system that America originated where the annual harvest based on population dynamics, the carrying capacity of habitat, and the hands-on value of pursuing the greatest diet in the world and the greatest excitement in the world was literally perfect. The biggest thing that we've seen is we've seen apathy and division. We've seen hunters giving up the sport. We've seen anglers and trappers getting away from it because they can't figure out what can I go to the field with and when? And am I gonna get fined if I have one too many fish in my creek? This lifestyle has been under attack unlike anything that I've seen in my life. Anti-hunting groups, well-organized, well-funded groups are coming here in the minority and trying to tell Wisconsinites, again, millions of us participate in these sports, that what we do is illegal, and it shouldn't be allowed to continue to our kids and our grandkids. Through overregulation, burdensome rules, and increasing permit costs, we've seen a decline in hunting, fishing, and other outdoor sports in Wisconsin. But our sporting heritage is worth fighting for, worth preserving. My name is State Senator Mary Felskowski, and I represent the 12th Senate District, which is 12 counties in northeastern Wisconsin and north central Wisconsin. Hunting and fishing is a traditional way of life in our area. Um, I grew up in a very hunting and fishing family. I mean, getting off the bus when you're in middle school, mom would have a snack and we'd take the 410, our dog lady, and off we'd go partridge hunting. You know, and deer seasons, probably some of the best memories that I have in my life with family and friends and neighborhood kids and we'd all get together and the drives and the stories and the fun. And I've been very fortunate to be able to pass that on to my children and I hope to do that with my grandchildren. Now I've had campfires all across America, particularly in Michigan and Texas for the last 50 years, where great families, moms and dads and sons and daughters, grandmas and grandpas, entrepreneurs, working hard, playing hard Americans, expressed to me how they got a fine for not having their bow in a case. How they got a fine for relocating apples so they could kill the deer. You know, when I sat down and I read the state's fishing regulations, I was blown away. We make it so hard for people to participate in the great outdoors, and that's just wrong. And in the last year with COVID, we've seen how important that great outdoors is to many. So what some of the bills that we're doing today, I have two that I'm authoring. One is to allow a sandhill crane hunt. Over the years, the sandhill crane has been an endangered species. And we've done a great job in the state of Wisconsin of protecting that and then bringing our numbers back where it's no longer on the endangered species list. It's time now to manage that resource, just as we do with all our other waterfowl and birds. The second bill that I have is constitutional carry. In the state of Wisconsin, we allow you to open carry. You can strap up a nine millimeter pistol on your hip and you can walk down Main Street, but you can't put a coat on. And we're here to rectify that. We're here to empower law-abiding gun owners, to give them the rights to enact their freedoms that are given to them under the Constitution. When the great state of Wisconsin had a million deer hunters, it's because the deer hunting pamphlet was only that thick. Now you need a team of lawyers 
Hi, I'm Rob Staffschild. I'm the chairman of the Senate Committee on Sporting Heritage, Small Business and Rural Issues. I want to start by thanking everyone that's here today. We have a great turnout. And that just goes to show how important these issues are for Wisconsinites and the great state of Wisconsin. We've got great things going on here from mentored hunts, uh, eliminating the infield test for hunter safety, something that's been done throughout COVID. We've done online with no test out, so this is actually a, a step up as a requirement. Um, we're stocking pheasants across the state of Wisconsin. Look at the regulation books that used to be four or five pages long. And now the deer hunting regulation book, last time I checked, I think is over 75 pages long. We're trying to simplify things so that people understand the parameters they must be within. And what this senator and the other authors of uh, this package of uh, legislation and bills have done is, they're making access back to the outdoors in Wisconsin easier. They're trying to eliminate burdensome regulations that have thwarted the retention and recruitment of future hunters here in Wisconsin. And they're also recognizing the conservation impact that the American hunters have and what hunting has on the state of Wisconsin. Hunting alone in Wisconsin generates $4 billion in economic activity, supports 34,000 jobs in the state of Wisconsin, and accounts for $1 billion in salaries and wages. In Wisconsin, 895,000 people hunt, and they spend an average of $2,800 a year in their sport. I sit around campfires all over America, and I sit with people of many colors, many religions, both in all parties. Hunting and conservation is not a political issue. That's why I'm so proud of these bills that are today. It's simply pro-conservation. It's very pro-Wisconsin. It's, it's a win-win for everyone. Wildlife should be respected in the asset column, not in the liability column. And so thank you for allowing me to testify because I'm not speaking for Ted Nugent. I'm speaking for those millions and millions of American families who pursue this lifestyle of hands-on conservation. It literally is God's work. Hunting, fishing, and trapping is perfect. And when they're over-regulated, people quit. People don't participate. And that's what's happening. And Hunter Nation and these great men and women behind me tonight, who I'm proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with, spirit to spirit with, we're going to cleanse the arbitrary, punitive, capricious over-regulation, creating attrition, failure to retain, and failure to recruit. It is part of the fabric of our state. That is why we're proposing the Wisconsin Sporting Freedom Package to protect outdoor traditions and ensure that these freedoms are a legacy we pass on to future generations in Wisconsin. Today, we make it clear that we're standing for our hunters, fishermen, and anglers, and all types of sportsmen in the state of Wisconsin. We remain committed to protecting their rights here and preserving them going forward.